Hi everyone, my name is Francisco Hernandez, product specialist for screw feeding systems. I've been working with screw feeders since 2016, and in this video, I want to show you a brief overview of our new Atlas Copco screw feeding system. There are three main components that you can see on this video that are important for this to work. The first one that I want to show you is the handheld model. Then there's a step model and the tightening controller. As you can see, that we have two main components that integrate it. The first one is the tightening tool, that it could be two types of tools, the SL tool or the ES21 tools. And then there's the tightening module. This is a development made by Atlas Copco to receive the screw and sort it and push it to make the operation of fastening. So in this part, we have a trigger, a pneumatic cylinder, a quick change, a jaw, the bit stroke, and the swivel arm. The swivel arm has an operation that holds the screw in position while there's another screw doing the fastening. So you can have a screw stored in this part while there's another screw doing the fastening. So the cycle time enhances up to have it a screw as soon as the operation ends on the previous one. So I wanted to show you the quick change function because there's some capabilities that you can see like the replacement of the jaws and maintenance that you can do by only putting a function switch and you can put this out, the swivel arm, and as soon as you push this quick change, you can take this off and do any maintenance or replacement of the component. And also, you can replace the bit that is doing the fastening if you need to replace it or make something particular. So, but it's as easy as replacing this and putting this on something that we just try to develop to make this system work better. And then there's the step feeder. The step feeder stores all the screws that are thrown in this part of the system to be sent and sorted with this hose to the tightening module. As you may see, there are a status LED that is showing that it's on, that it's running and communicating with the systems, a reset button that will blank, blink in yellow when it's necessary to make a reset operation for any warning, and then this rotary switch that can change the position of the bit stroke to make calibrations or to make replacements. So when you push the position, you can have it back or you can have it forward. And finally, there's the Power Focus 6000 controller. This tool is completely built for the Power Focus 6000 ecosystem. And what it does is that it communicates the controller with the step feeder and the tightening module so it can confirm the tightening and the operation of the screw being sent to the tightening module. So that's it for this video of the overview of the screw feeding system. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.